All right, you guys, we've got a new category in our Rocket and Raygun Awards for 2019. This is the best strategy game of the year, and I'm going to get to our nominees and our winner very soon. But first, we want to hear from the community. Strategy games are one of my favorite things, including the Fire Emblem series. And I really didn't know what to expect because finally, Fire Emblem was returning to a console once again. The last Fire Emblem game I played on a console was Path of Radiance. I absolutely loved it. Now, here we go. Fire Emblem Three Houses was released, and I was playing the review copy, and I'm like, oh my god, this is an incredible game. I'm like, no, no, John, calm down, calm down. Keep going, keep going. I kept going. The storyline is what makes this game so fantastic. There's twists and turns that you will not see coming, and I'm not gonna ruin any of those. Keep on playing the game. The game itself is a fairly straightforward strategy game that we played before. That's really fun. You can also up the difficulty levels. So if the game's too easy for you, you can make it a little bit harder. But it was the graphics, it was the character designs, it was the music, it was the incredible story that made this my strategy game of the year. High recommendation. My favorite strategy game of 2019 has to go to Fire Emblem Three Houses because I just adore this franchise and I just got more of it. Three different campaigns to choose from, a variety of different classes to tinker with. There is no denying that Fire Emblem Three Houses is one fantastic package for those who love tactical games. My best strategy game of 2019 is a game that came out before this year, but came out for the PSVR this year, so I'm counting it. And that's Skyworld. It's a blend of RTS elements and MOBA Battler and Card Battler, and it's a great game. It sports multiplayer. There's so many mechanics to get through. It's a fully realized little diorama kind of world where you're overlooking the entire map as you move your pieces around, getting some crazy combat upgrades. It has everything you want from a game like this, and I totally recommend it to anybody with a VR headset. For best strategy game of 2019, I'm gonna have to cheat just a little bit because there's no puzzle category. And we had a lot of great puzzle games this year. There was Catherine, Full Body, Tetris 99, Baba Is You. But the one that I wanna shine a light on the most is called Wilmot's Warehouse. It's a tiny little game. You play this little guy running around your warehouse under pressure and you gotta organize and strategically place all your items around while the clock is ticking. It's really fun if you're an organizational freak like I am, it's gonna scratch the perfect itch in your brain. You won't be able to put it down. So my pick for best strategy game is Wilmot's Warehouse. I'm gonna just sneak Grindstone into best strategy game because I have been playing Grindstone so much every day. It is such a good time. It is an Apple Arcade game, so you have to subscribe to that service. Incredible, it's, yeah, it's matching. Sure, you're matching, but there's so much more to it than that. The enemies, the actual character that you play, the leveling up that you can do. I am hooked. It is one of the mobile games that has its hooks in me. And one of those games that is not freemium. It's not premium, don't worry, it's not gonna try to take more of your dough, you already pay monthly. You're good, go Grindstone. And here are our nominees for the best strategy game of 2019. We've got Wargroove, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and Total War Three Kingdoms. There aren't all, ever, it feels like in any year, tons and tons of choices in the strategy category. And truthfully, the time commitment on, on these games can be excruciatingly long, but also incredibly entertaining and rewarding if you give yourself to these types of games. As our three nominees definitely proved, Total War Three Kingdoms is another masterpiece from Creative Assembly who I think kind of leads the world in showing how large a strategy experience can be. They've always got an incredibly massive metagame where you're dealing with diplomacy and relationships between states and nations and different territories. And what Creative Assembly has really done over the last iterations of the Total War franchise is build up the leaders and give them lots of cool abilities to kind of direct their armies into interesting situations and scenarios. And it will give you hundreds and hundreds of hours to, you know, approach your conflicts and learn from them and pick up all kinds of new skills. I think it's probably, you know, the best tactician's strategy enthusiast game that is out there. Wargroove, which really entertained me and really surprised me, is much more accessible, much more cartoony. It's definitely in the vein of classic Advance Wars and Fire Emblem games from Intelligent Systems with a cartoony aesthetic. It's also a game that you can play on every platform, which is really cool. I like that a lot. But I think the clear winner here is something that is accessible, ambitious, and enormous, but also 
delivers some incredible storytelling on a lot of the promises that this franchise has made over the years, and that is Fire Emblem Three Houses, which has a school-type setting, not unlike Hogwarts, where you have to choose your allegiance and choose your house that you're kind of vying for, and you're in competition with the other houses, and you're also collaborating with them, and you're creating relationships with these characters and trading characters back and forth every once in a while. And then that all leads to some epic showdowns on the battlefield, the turn-based, grid-based battlefield that Fire Emblem is famous for. You have the ability to lose characters that you've been working with and leveling up, and that can be incredibly heartbreaking. But they've also tuned it and made that Fire Emblem Secret Sauce a lot more accessible this year. It's a wonderful game. I think it's the best Fire Emblem game that Intelligent Systems has made, but you can argue with me about that. And a big chunk of it is the ambition, the extra attention that they've placed on crafting the storytelling and all of these awesome animations that we get. It's it's just incredibly rewarding and, you know, frankly, another wonderful game in the Switch catalog this year. And that is why Fire Emblem Three Houses is our winner for the best strategy game of 2019. We've got a lot of other categories for you to check out, so please do watch all the other videos. Every category gets its own video. And thank you so much for watching this one.